how to simplify Ansible output with the community.general.dance callback plugin. One of the essential features of Ansible is its ability to provide feedback on the tasks it performs throughout output messages. In certain scenarios, especially when dealing with large-scale automation or integration, Ansible with other tools, reducing the verbosity of the output, become crucial. This is where Ansible callback plugin come into play. The community.general.dance plugin is designed to minimize the standard output of Ansible, providing a cleaner and more concise representation of task execution. There are plenty of options and parameters that we can customize, as you can see from the manual page. But now, let's stick to the basic. Let's start with an Ansible playbook and see how it modifies the output. Welcome to my editor. The most easy playbook that I could think about is using the ping module to actually test the connection. Let's start with the name ping module demo that is going to be target host all of my inventory and on the task list only one task that is actually testing the connection to the target node using the ansible.builtin.ping module. In this way we are going to test the connection between the ansible controller and the target mode. It's the easiest playbook that we can think about. Now. In the same spirit of simplicity, let me create one Ansible inventory file that is target localhost, so the same host of my Ansible controller, and let me skip also the SSH connection using Ansible connection local. Welcome to my terminal. I would like to demonstrate the normal behavior of the Ansible playbook command using this Ansible playbook. When we execute the code, we actually get all these messages on the screen that specify the play name, the task name, and the play recap. And if we specify the verbosity, we even get more messages. And specifically for this module, we got a ping pong output that certified that the connection is actually established with the target host. And now let's introduce our callback plugin to modify the output of Ansible. So first of all we need to create an ansible.cfg configuration file in the current directory of my playbook and let me specify that we would like to enable the callback plugin named community.general.dance. Okay, and there is one restriction that Ansible allow only one standard output plugin per time. So let me specify that the standard out underscore callback is community.general.dance. In this way we enable the callback plugin and we define to be the, the plugin that we would like to the standard output. In How this plugin is modifying the output? Well, the best way is actually executing my playbook in the console. First of all, let's verify that the plugin is actually enabled using Ansible config dump dash dash only changed. And we can see that the plugin is listed in both the enabled and standard output. Now let's execute again our playbook and as you can see the standard output is very compact and we got only the play name ping module demo. Uh, we got the result of a playbook as standard Unix messages and as you can see if we play again we got the same result. Uh, what happens if we specify the verbose mode? Well, in this way, let's add a dash V in the end, and we got a slightly more verbose message that we can get also the summary by the end of execution. In conclusion, Ansible callback plugins such as community.general.dance offer a flexible way to tailor the output of Ansible to suit different needs. 
By choosing the appropriate callback plugin, users can strike a balance between detailed information and streamlined summaries. Optimizing the Ansible experience based on the specific requirements of their Ansible workflow.